Today, we're gonna to go over my entire Kino Lorber collection. I, there, I think there's over 90 films here. If there's a little less, let me know. Uh, if, but if there's more, let me know as well. But I, I'm pretty sure there's over 90 films here. So we're gonna go pretty quickly. First one is uh, My Boyfriend's Back. This one's just a fun horror comedy. Philip Seymour Hoffman's in this one. It's just an interesting 90s film. Really enjoyed it. Haunted Honeymoon, Gilda Radner, Dom DeLuise, uh, Gene Wilder. Just another interesting, fun film. This one here, you, you just don't get movies made like this anymore. So this is enjoyable. Uh, Harry My Pocket, James Corburn. This was excellent. Um, this one, it, you know, it just reminded me of that one with Will Smith and Margot Robbie. You know, James Corburn teaches everyone how to steal and pickpocket. Just an enjoyable film. The Front Page, another one. This uh, this one's been re remade at least once. Uh, this is my favorite version of it. Jack Lemmon, Walter Matthau, can't go wrong. And the painted movie poster on here is just phenomenal. FX2, love this film. And uh, FX1, <laughs> love this film as well. So when I first saw these, I saw them back to back. And uh, it was interesting because these films, you know, it led me to understand that this could be my job. Like there's actual people that do this stuff. And it was like, I, I guess somewhere I kind of knew there was just, you know, people on sets, people making movies, but I never realized that this was a specific job until I saw these films. Uh, Dick Van Dyke and Fitz Willie, one of my favorite Dick Van Dyke films. Uh, so he's a butler for a rich old lady. The thing is she's broke. So in order to get by, he steals everything to sell it. Uh, an interesting film. And then again, it shows in here an early Abercrombie and Fitch where they didn't sell clothes for teenage kids. They definitely did sporting equipment, camping gear and all that type of stuff because that's one of the things they steal from. Uh, Finders Keepers. Phenomenal film, great cast, and wonderful movie poster. Uh, the Experts. John Travolta, you can't go wrong with this one. Uh, so at the height of the uh, Cold War, this is just a great comedy, you know, spoof, espionage. Like, they, they get duped into thinking they're going to open a nightclub in the Midwest, but they get stuck in Russia where it's a Midwest town and everyone speaks English. And so they're, they're trying to bring them up to the 80s, but they're russian spies and it's, it's just crazy because they have no clue really enjoyable film don't drink the water jackie gleason another one you can't go wrong uh driftwood this is another enjoyable old film black and white i enjoyed this one it uh came out in 1947 i know it's not for everybody but i do adore these older films uh, mel gibson and uh goldie hawn and bird on a wire this is a, a great film. I first saw this when I was a kid. It was like a Saturday afternoon, just a really enjoyable experience. I had never seen anything like this before. And, uh, you know, there's just a, spot, a part where she's going up the ladder talking about not looking up her skirt. And I just kind of remembered that, you know, always as being a little boy. I just stuck with me, but I enjoy this film. Uh, the Bank Shot. This one's really, really fun. Now, as you see in the movie poster, they're riding around in a bank. Well, it's a trailer that's sitting outside of like a grocery store or whatever. They hijack it and then they're riding it around. And just like you see in the movie poster, that's what happens in the movie. This was a fun one. Uh, this one, Beze Moy. Uh, this one is not for everybody. There's a warning on it for a reason. Um, there, It's not an adult film, but... Um, it's it's uh, pretty close, pretty close. Is it? But it's an actual movie. It's a re revenge tale, and um, yeah, it's, like I said, it's not for everybody. Uh, another stakeout, great film, uh, but I do like the first one a lot better. I wish the first one was on Blu-ray, but it's not. Somehow we only got the sequel. Um, not a bad bad film. Okay, this one here, this was a brand new 2K Master when I grabbed it, and The Art of Love. It had been on my radar forever. Kino Lorber put it out, so I grabbed it right away. This was really enjoyable. Another Dick Van Dyke. Uh, and then who else? James Gardner. James Gardner's in this one. Great film. Fistful of Dynamite. Now, I bought this one thinking it was a comedy based on the movie poster. Absolutely love it. I think it's great, but it's not a comedy. Still really, really enjoyable. Uh, this one, Cross Swords. Now, I bought this one based on the cast. Uh, you have uh, Raquel Welch, Oliver Reed, Mark Lester, Ernest Borgnine, George S. Scott, Rex Harrison, David Hemmings, and Charlton Heston. Um, this one, 
it's great. This is, you know, the very beginning it opens up. It, it definitely gives you like that Prince and the Pauper tale. Really, really enjoyable. And this film came out in 77. So I'm a big fan of 70s cinema. And without even knowing it, I just kind of was like, I love this movie. So definitely really enjoy Cross Swords. Uh, the Veil. This one here with Jessica Alba, Thomas Jane. Um, this was a blind buy, but then as I watched it, I had uh, seen this one before. Pretty decent film. Uh, really enjoyable. The Strange Door with uh, Boris uh, Karloff. This one here, you can't go wrong. Love the painted movie poster. An old black and white Boris Karloff film. I love these films. Uh, any Anytime you get the creepy, the horror, you know, the stuff from like the 50s, that's I'm in. I'm sold. This was just great. Uh, Haley Berry and the Rich Man's Wife. Uh, this one here, another great one. Love Haley Berry, and uh, this was just a nice thriller. Uh, my Science Project. I saw this when I was a kid. Really enjoyed it then, and it took me a long time to find it. I you know nobody knew what I was talking about. I kept explaining it. Nobody had no clue. Um, over the years, I just you know thought it was like a fa failure. I was never going to find this film. Kino Lorber put this out, and I said, "Oh my God, that's the movie I've been talking about for years." And uh, you know to have it in the collection was enjoyable. I watched it several times. The family loves this one. It's a good one. Uh, never steal anything. James Cagney, Shirley Jones. Can't go wrong. Love James Cagney. Big fan. And obviously I love the painted movie poster, but also enjoyed the film. Uh, the Oblong Box. Edgar Allan Poe, Vincent Price, Christopher Lee. You know, that's right up my alley. Again, love the movie poster, but the cast, I was a blind buy. I grabbed it, really enjoyed it. Um, Once Upon a Crime. This is one I grew up watching. I've enjoyed this ever since. Uh, it's a rated, uh, it's PG, it's rated PG, but I almost think like it should be rated R or close to it. Cause I, you know, I just haven't really watched it with my kids, but I remember being a kid watching it. Uh, but enjoyable. Love the cast in this. You have John Candy, James Belushi, Sybil Shepard, Sean Young, Richard Lewis. Uh, you know, just a great, great cast. Really, really fun. Love the, the heist aspect of it, the mystery. The, it's fun. It's a fun one. One Million Years B.C. I bought this last year at the Kino Lorber sale. It was a blind buy, but, I mean, it had been on my radar forever. I've seen that movie poster. Raquel Welch, it can't go wrong. So enjoy having that one, and I love this movie. This is one of my favorites. I grew up watching it. Um, my mom rented this for me when I was a kid, and I don't know anybody in real life that likes this movie, but I do. I absolutely love it. I love everything about it. Marissa Tomei, uh, Tim Curry's in this. It's it's like a it's like a clue without all the murder. It's just it's fun. I really really enjoy this one. I absolutely love it. Um, Paris Holiday can't go wrong. Bob Hope, great film. Uh, Jackie Gleason in Papa's Delicate Condition. This was actually a fun one. Really enjoyed it. It wasn't black and white, but it was in 1963. But it was a, just a fun film. Uh, basically, you know, he's got some money. He can't tell his daughter no. He ends up buying like a circus. It's just It goes from there. It's a little crazy, uh, a little convoluted, but enjoyable. Played to the Bone, classic 90s. Woody Harrelson, Antonio Banderas. Enjoyable film. Uh, this one here, uh, James Belushi, John Ritter, Real Men, absolutely love this film. I don't remember where I saw it, but I saw it um, probably like a few years back, maybe five or six, and then Kino Lorber put this out, so I had to grab it. Really enjoy this one. Uh, Steve McQueen and the Reavers. I've really enjoyed this one. It was a blind buy. Had never saw it before, but obviously I adore cinema from, this was 69. I thought it was 70s, but it's close enough and it still has that same vibe. I just enjoy this. Uh, special Delivery. Uh, Bo Svensson and Sybil Shepard. Uh, this one was an interesting one. You got the action. You got the little bit of the love story. This is just a fun movie. Uh, right there on the back, just to give you an idea, the bad guys have a rocket launcher. So this is, you know, this is something. They don't make movies like this anymore. Again, 70s cinema. I love it. Uh, the Heat, or Heat, with Burt Reynolds. Uh, I just watched this one very recently. Just a great man movie. Love Burt Reynolds in this time period. This was uh, 1986. This was so enjoyable. And it was just ironic because in the beginning, he um, some guy 
you know, he's bullying some guy. I'm not going to spoil it for anybody, but he's bullying some guy and he pulls off his toupee and then makes fun of him for being bald when it obviously in real life, you know, Burt Reynolds was bald and wore a toupee. So I just thought that was funny. Uh, House of the Long Shadows, great cast, amazing cast. So you got John Carradine, uh, Desi Arnaz Jr., Vincent Price, Christopher Lee, Peter Cushing. Phenomenal film. So it's a ghost story, but it's it's interesting. Uh, let's see. How do I love thee? Another Jackie Gleason classic. Love that movie poster. Another great one. Conga. Uh, anything with gorillas and apes, I'm going to grab it. This one here, 61. Enjoyed this film. Uh, it, it just it had all the elements of like that 50s monster movie. Everything about it was just so much fun for me. Absolutely love this one. Uh, next was The Laughing Policeman. Love that movie poster, trying to collect all the Walter Matthau movies. This one here, 70s cinema, super serious, uh, nothing comical about this at all. Just a really enjoyable police cop story. Uh, Link. This one here, love this movie. Elizabeth Shue, um, it's a horror film with uh, monkeys. So, <laughs> another enjoyable film. Uh, Madam X. Now this one, I bought it. It's not my absolute favorite film in the world, but I did buy it because in the very beginning of this movie, they, um, famously go to the Playboy Mansion before it was ever the Playboy Mansion. Uh, and, uh, the driveway is a little ridiculous cause they, they film it multiple times and they cut it at different angles to make it seem like the driveway is crazy, ridiculously long. But I don't think any of the interior shots are inside the Playboy Mansion, but the whole exterior is. So that's why I grabbed it. Not a bad film, just not my favorite. Uh, Twice Told Tales. This is an excellent film. Uh, it's got, uh, obviously, Vincent Price, but it's um, three, three stories in this and just all very enjoyable. The first one being my favorite. Rawhead Rex. Now this one uh, I had never saw it before. It was recommended by a good friend and um, he uh, said I should watch it. So I did. And man, was this fun. If you like monster flicks, like the old, you know, rubber monster suits, this is it. it, it you know, I really, really enjoyed it. It's a little ridiculous, definitely laughable, but everybody on set seemed to be having as much fun as possible. Just enjoyable. Uh, Frontier. Now, this is part of the, the Kino Lorber Classics line. Uh, I enjoy it. I loved that poster. I didn't know what I was getting into. It's got the noir elements, got a little bit of the mystery. Enjoyable film. Um, I don't know if it's for everybody, but I definitely recommend checking it out. If you're going to check it out, probably rent it, but I enjoy owning it. I just know that everyone I've showed it to thinks it's a little boring, but I enjoy this one. Uh, wildlife. Now this one I, I got, I just, I realized I bought it last year, but I have yet to watch it. So somehow it got put in the closet before, uh, I had a chance to watch it, but this one's got a great cast. Chris Penn, Leah Thompson, uh, Randy Quaid, Jenny Wright, Eric Stoltz, Rick Moranis, Hart, uh, uh, Bachner. Great movie poster. Um, I might've started watching this at some point because some of it seems familiar, but I don't recall what goes on in this movie. So I just, I'm pretty sure I have not seen the entire thing. So that's got to go off to the side so we can watch that later. Uh, this one's an interesting one. Uh, it's, it's called What's So Bad About Feeling Good? And uh, a lot of people started talking about this movie around the time of COVID because it has a lot of similarities. Basically a bird shows up makes everybody sick and how they make them sick is they start falling in love. They stop caring about like certain things. And, and uh, you know, there's like these like hippie painters and, and just, they just don't care. They get, they get uh, close to this bird and then all of a sudden they, they go to work and they fall in love with each other. And it's just a weird, interesting thing. And then everybody was wearing masks. And so I see the similarities to everybody pointing it out and like the government got involved and was making mandates and stuff. It's a, it's an interesting film. Um, Dom DeLuise is in this. It's, it's, it's fun, something fun about it. But I did notice like around the time COVID, everybody was talking about this film. All right. The Wanderers, another fun film. This, uh, you know, it, it was 1979, but it feels like a 1950s movie. You know, you got gangs. It's just enjoyable. It feels a little like Grease without the musical. Uh, Wanda Nevada, Peter Fonda, Brooke Shields, a classic film. Really enjoyed it. 
the Vikings. Another one, this is uh, 58. The uh, cinematography in here is amazing. The I don't know what kind of restoration they may or may not have done on this, but phenomenal picture. Um, just the color, the film that they used, everything about this film is just wonderful. But great cast, Tony Curtis, Kirk Douglas, Ernest Borgnine, Janet Lee. Fun film, really, really enjoyed it. It's just an adventure story. Another black and white one. Uh, this one's from 1960. Another one I enjoy. Jerry Lewis, uh, Visit to a Small Planet. Just classic Jerry Lewis. Just really, really fun. This one I thought was going to be a comedy based on the movie poster. It's not. Another enjoyable one, but it's kind of serious. So they're truckers, but then there's like a trucking company that's trying to take advantage of everybody. So they're sending people out to like hijack and uh, steal their loads and, you know, even hurt them. And uh, to try to kind of force them into contracts with the trucking company so they're not independent truckers anymore. Really enjoyable film. You got Jerry Reed, Peter Fonda. Great film. Up the Creek. This one here, uh, again, it's just a classic comedy. Really enjoyed it. Uh, Tim Matheson, Dan Moynihan, Stephen, Fir uh, Stephen First. Just a fun one. This one, it felt like Porky's without all the sex. Like it was just an enjoyable film. Uh, Transylvania 6 5000. <laughs> it's just a classic comedy. I know it's not for everybody. I enjoy it. It's fun. Uh, Burt Lancaster and Kirk Douglas in Tough Guys. I saw this years ago. Really enjoyed this one. Uh, Tony Curtis, Peter Cook, and Jack Hawkins, Dudley Moore, and those daring young men in their jaunty jalopies. Another phenomenal film. Uh, Taking Care of Business. I love this movie. James Belushi, uh, James, uh, Charles Grodin. James Belushi breaks out of prison so he can go to a ball game and then basically steals Charles Gordon's uh, like whole life for like a weekend. And it's a really, really fun film. I had this on VHS for years. And uh, as soon as I found that Keanu Lorber put this out, I, I got it right away. This is just an enjoyable film. This was a blind buy. I love Westerns, but I don't love Westerns in the fact that like, I'm very familiar with them. Um, you know, I, I, I pick them up based on the mood. So if I watch a couple Westerns, I just blind buy a whole bunch of other ones. And so I don't know anybody in my real life that recommends Westerns. So I, that's how I've always kind of done it. And this one was so enjoyable. It's a Western comedy. James Gardner, uh, Support Your Local Sheriff. I really, really enjoyed this. And I just picked up the sequel. Haven't watched it yet. It's in this pile somewhere. But... Really, really enjoyed this one. Uh, Strange Bedfellows. Rock Hudson. Can't go wrong. Trying to collect all the Rock Hudson films. Uh, this was just an enjoyable one. Uh, the Sting 2. Uh, this one, I like The Sting. The original The Sting, that was great. This is okay. It's not a bad film. Uh, this is a recent pickup, enjoyable. I watched it years ago, just rewatched it, just as enjoyable. The Little Girl Who Lives Down the Lane with Jodie Foster. This one here, um, you know, it's got not quite a horror element, but that thriller. It's just got a little bit of a thriller, a little bit of a mystery. Great 70s cinema. Really enjoy this one. I'm pretty sure it's 70s. Yeah, 76. Enjoyable film. Uh, this is one, probably one of the first films I, I ever bought on VHS. Um, back when I worked at the video store, was out of sight. Enjoy this film. Uh, George Clooney, Jennifer Lopez. Now, a lot of people complain about this 4K because they don't understand that um, this was a, it's a Soderbergh film. So this is shot with some experimental stuff, different lighting, different things. And so that really, really comes clear on the 4K. Not as noticeable on the VHS, but it's still there. 4K, very, very clear. Um, but I, I really, really enjoy this film. Uh, Rock Hudson, Blindfold. Again, trying to collect all the Rock Hudson movies. Had to have this one. Enjoyed it. Uh, another Rock Hudson, Come September. Another one, great one. Black Marble. Now, this one here, um, it was enjoyable. It's not what I thought it was, but it's still a good film. Uh, Blame It on the Bellboy. This one's got a lot of great people in it, uh, but just a fun one. Man's Favorite Sport. This is my all-time favorite comedy movie ever and uh, also probably my favorite Rock Hudson film ever. Uh, Miracles. Again, a movie I picked up uh, based on the cast and the context of it. 
enjoyable film. Christopher Lloyd's in this. It, really, really fun, but a little wacky at the same time. But it's a good one. Miracle Beach. Uh, this was a blind buy. Picked it up. Uh, you know, it's another fun one. Uh, this one I saw years ago on TV. Uh, John Cusack, Money for Nothing. It's based on a true story. Uh, it's a, a whole uh, bag full of money falls out of uh, you know a uh, armored truck, and John Cusack's character grabs it up. But then you know everybody kind of finds out very quickly it's him. So he's trying to run away. He gets arrested. Uh, it, it's a it's a true story. So that that's what really really intrigued me, and I enjoyed John Cusack in it. I think this was originally a TV movie. Oh, Michael Madsen's in this as well, yes. I think this was originally a TV movie, but that's because I think that's where I saw it, but really enjoyable. Uh, Mr. Destiny. I remember my mom renting this for me when I was a kid. Absolutely love this one. James Belushi, Michael Caine. So James Belushi's, you know, not super poor, but like lower middle class, kind of wishes he had a better life. That's granted, he gets the better life. His whole life has changed, but then, you know, he starts to realize maybe that's not what he wanted. Just an enjoyable film. Uh, this one here, it's wacky. Joe Dante, huge, amazing, great cast. Uh, too many people to name off, but Carrie Fisher's definitely in this one. Uh, so many people are in this, uh, but really enjoyable. The movie poster sucked me in. It's it's a little wacky, but in really, it's, it's good. It's good. Uh, let's see, Shirley McLean, another fun one. Enjoyed this one a lot. Uh, Running Scared with Billy Crystal. Now, years ago, I picked this up in like a three pack at like a CVS. It had three movies in one case, and Running Scared was one of them. Uh, I didn't know anything about it, but I think it was Cadillac Man was in the case, and that's what I really wanted. Uh, so I picked up Cadillac Man, knowing I knowing I loved the movie, and this was just a nice bonus. So I've enjoyed this one. Uh, really enjoy having this. Heartbreak Hotel, great. Uh, cops and Robbers. Now, this one here, uh, a bunch of cops, they get the idea that uh, maybe they can get away with stealing some stuff. And, um, you know, it, I'm not going to spoil it for anybody, but again, classic 70s cinema. All right, Couch Trip. This is just a, a fun one. I enjoyed it. Um, it's not really like a goofy movie, but I think it's a little more comical than um, the, the movie Straight Talk with Dolly Parton. Kind of the same thing. But he's a mental patient that gets uh, to be on the talk radio, and it's just interesting. It's an interesting film. Uh, the Brass Bottle, another enjoyable one. Uh, Gregory Peck and Tony Curtis and Captain Newman, M.D. This was a really interesting movie. Um, you know, I picked it up thinking it was a you know military movie, and it is. But everyone's in a mental institution, and you know, it's or a mental ward. It's it's an interesting film. Uh, the Brinks Job, Peter Falk, great cast in this. Uh, who else in this? Peter Boyle, Alan Garfield, Warren Oates, Gina Rollins, and Paul Sorvino. Phenomenal cast. They plan to rob um, the bank. They do. It's fun. Uh, this one here, uh, I picked it up because of uh, James Corburn and Walter Matthau. Uh, this one also has Ringo Starr. It's called Candy. Uh, a little bit exploitive. Not a bad film. Interesting. Okay, another one, uh, Jerry Lewis one. Don't give up the ship. Just enjoyable. I do anything with the Navy, anything with the military, I'm usually going to grab it. Enjoyable. Black and white from 1959. Can't go wrong. Career Opportunities, uh, fun film. Uh, Cattle Annie and Little Britches. This was an excellent film. So this one here, Burt Lancaster, but it was uh, Little, uh, what was her name? Diane Lane. So uh, Little Britches was played by 15-year-old Diane Lane. Uh, just an enjoyable film. Uh, Bend of the River, James Stewart, uh, uh, Rock Hudson, had to have it. All right, next one is DC Cab. Really enjoy it. Love this movie poster. This one here, it's a little goofy, but I, I did like this one. Uh, Dead Men Don't Wear Plaid. It's an interesting film. If you don't know anything about it, Steve Martin basically strung together a whole bunch of other noir films, and he plays in it himself, and so it, it just worked out so well. I did not expect, hearing the premise of that, I didn't expect anything good from it. Really enjoyed this one. Comedy of Terrors is probably one of my favorite Vincent Price films, but you have a lot of people in here. It's Vincent Price, Peter Lorre, Boris Karloff, 
just an enjoyable film. Probably, I think it's my favorite comedy with all of those guys in this kind of style of, um, you know, horror comedy. Really enjoyed it. All right, Eight Million Ways to Die. This is another enjoyable film. Rosanna Arquette, Jeff Bridges. Another one. Uh, I just really enjoyed this one. 100 Rifles, Jim Brown, Raquel Welch, and Burt Reynolds. Great cast. Another enjoyable film. Uh, Peter Sellers after the Fox. I've tried to watch this one. I haven't gotten through it all the way. Um, you know, I'm not sure if I love it or not, but I do keep getting distracted. All right, uh, the next one is Diamonds for Breakfast. This is a fun cast and uh, just an enjoyable movie. Um, you know, and I think that you know I watched that uh, Ocean's Eight with all the girls, and I feel that they took a lot of stuff from this movie. Uh, but this was really enjoyable. All right, uh, the next one is Disorganized Crime. I really enjoy this one. Great cast. Uh, you have, you know, a lot of people here, but Lou Diamond Phillips, Fred Gwynn, uh, just an enjoyable film. Uh, Dr. Goldfoot and Bikini Machine. So again, Vincent Price, had to have it, really enjoyed it. Still haven't picked up the sequel, but enjoyed this one. Uh, Rush, great film. And Scavenger Hunt. This is a phenomenal film. A great cast. Super fun. It, it, you know, this is hilarious. I enjoyed this. A great comedy. And Vincent Price is in this. He's not in it for long, but really enjoyed this film. Uh, and Space Invaders. This is one my wife had uh, saw when she was a kid. She, you know, hadn't seen it in forever. I, you know, I got it for her. And uh, it's fine. It's a fine film. I enjoy watching this around Halloween time. But, all right, so I almost forgot. It was uh, Support Your Local Gunfighter. This was downstairs on the Blu-ray player because I was uh, planning on watching it today. And James Garner, uh, you know, anytime you see James Garner, I really, I, I'll pull the trigger. I can't go wrong there. Um, but it's a Western comedy. Absolutely love it. The movie poster is phenomenal. Uh, and I enjoyed the original, the first one. So uh, I haven't seen this one yet. Looking forward to it, but that's it. That's my entire Kino Lorber collection. Let me know in the comments down below if you have any of these films or if the you know you did you know they exist now, so you're gonna try to find them. But with that, I'll catch you guys next time.